Roses are red, violets are blue. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is getting a remaster along with the first game. Hello, everybody. I'm Max Scoville, joined by Jonathan Dornbush, here to talk about this wonderful announcement. That was perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better intro. <laughs> So what do we know about this? Yeah, so uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 are being fully remade by Vicarious Vision, still being published by Activision. Uh, that's the studio that remade Crash Bandicoot for Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It's coming back for PS4, Xbox One, and PC this September, September 4th. Now, this is, this is interesting because they're calling it a remaster, and there's this whole sort of weird sliding scale of what constitutes a, a remake, a remaster, a rebuild. Uh, this is completely from the ground up being sort of reassembled based on the original sort of blueprint, so to speak, right? Yeah, we, we often talk about that stuff around the IGN team of like, what's really a remake, what's a remaster? And obviously, uh, Crash Bandicoot, I talked to the Vicarious team when they were doing that. They essentially were able to get level frameworks uh, for the Insane Trilogy, the original games, and build off of that, but all the assets were new and everything. Here, I spoke to Jen O'Neill, uh, head at Vicarious Visions, and she told me that they essentially had the handling code from Neversoft, who originally made these two uh, Tony Hawk entries, and they had the handling code for how the skateboarding actually worked. But outside of that, everything is new. So all of the textures, all of the re, you know, the redesigns of the skaters and the worlds, all brand new stuff. They tried to make it as one to one as possible because their goal was really they want you to be able to hit the same uh, skateboarding lines you had way back when. They want that to sort of be like instant muscle memory, but all of it is newly built. Right, right. So we haven't actually gotten hands on with this, so it's it's going to be interesting to see how it actually feels when you're when you're playing it. But I mean, there've been, you know, a, a few sort of minor advances in how video games have been made since the originals came out. Uh, one thing I'm really excited about is the the soundtrack, which is yeah. uh, one, of the, one of the things that was an issue of getting this remastered sooner is li music licensing is a very s sticky issue. Yeah, that's definitely one of the toughest things I think in any medium when you have to remaster or just get old uh, TV episodes or games back is often the soundtrack. Um, good luck if they ever decide to do this for Guitar Hero. But uh, with Tony Hawk, uh, Jen O'Neill told me they'll have most of the soundtrack. They said there were only a couple songs they weren't able to get, but for the most part, the soundtracks are back and it's most of the hits. So pretty much everything I think we associate with Tony Hawk, like Superman or like Gorilla Radio, those songs are going to be in the game. And they said they're really happy with the soundtrack as it stands. So this will be, I think for me, the Tony Hawk franchise is so married to the soundtracks. Um, it's hard to like separate those gameplay moments from the songs. Uh, this will, I think, be the bulk of the soundtrack you're getting. But they are, you know, in addition to the standard uh, missions and the gameplay challenges we have from the original stuff, like collecting skate letters and all that stuff, they do have new uh, challenges that you'll be able to reach in this game. So some of those are even skater specific. So the, the roster of skaters is all back, but each of them will have new missions essentially that you can uh, do that are per skater based and some other new stuff they're adding as well. So they made a few tweaks and, and whatnot. And also there's going to be online multiplayer, which is... A, a little bit more stable than it was back in the 90s. Definitely, yeah. So there's going to be uh, a lot of online like trick attack you can do against friends online. And also the create a park and create a skater modes are going to be online. And those are a lot more robust this time around, uh, Jen O'Neill told me. Basically, the th things they're doing with it, there's going to be deformation of every piece or not every piece, excuse me, but some of the pieces will have deformation. So you can tweak things quite a bit more. Uh, they're really excited, she said, to see people try to recreate uh, real life skate parks in the game. They said it's a, it's a much more robust create a, create a mode this time around oh that's so cool i'm very excited yeah. about this this is this is going to be good i'm i'm wondering if we're going to see any of the sort of uh i mean it's licensing issues have gotten very complicated but i wonder if we'll get like you know like spider-man or darth maul in there i, I kind of doubt it but it yeah would be nice. we'll, we'll see she did tell me secret levels are back so my hope is that there will be some secret skaters whether or not those have changed um you know activision isn't publishing spider-man games anymore but uh mm -hmm. it'll be curious to see what happens there i'm sure they'll have a few new secrets like that I'm so excited about this. Also, like, it looks incredible. I'm like, I'm specifically really impressed by by Tony Hawk's Vans. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. They, uh, she was talk talking to me a little bit about that. So they had all the skaters come back for new mocap sessions. Uh, she said Chad Muska came into the studio and had like bags of different clothing to be able to put on for like them to compare to. They really worked on the photogrammetry to make sure they were getting stuff as realistic as possible. Yeah, it is. It's funny seeing comparison screenshots with uh, Activision providing some of the first trailer and the first screenshots. It is like night and day. You, you see the framework of the levels, but it's it's so much more beautiful and it is what you'd sort of expect from a modern Tony Hawk. I'm um, that's 
that's such good news. I bet you were going to yeah. see Crash Bandicoot as a secret skater. I, I yeah. As soon as we mentioned Crash, that felt like the yeah. obvious go to. Yeah, that would like be they cool. got Hit the models fire. laying around. He's he's yeah. he wears the right clothes for it. He's got his shoes and jorts on. Yeah, uh, it's perfect. Anyway, was there anything else you wanted to touch? on? No, I think that's all the biggest stuff. It does feel it's one of those, you know, I'm excited to see this uh, and actually play it because it is one of those things where I think the these are such beloved touchstones for a lot of people, including myself. But whether or not the gameplay still translates, you know, 20 years later will be interesting. They mentioned they had to take into account, you know, uh, control sticks are now a thing and they weren't when the games were first made. Um, yeah, that's right. So, you know, they, they will have classic control schemes. So if you want to still control with the D-pad, you can. But, you know, there's a lot different camera controls and uh, you can control the skaters with uh, control mm. sticks now, which will, ho will hopefully be fun. Like, obviously, there are modern skate games for them to pull from, not just skate games, but Tony Hawk. Um, and Vicarious Visions did, of course, work on a lot of different Tony Hawk iterations, uh, especially a lot of the really good handheld ones. They were uh, pretty much known for those. So I I'm excited to see a studio that has such a history with this game jump back into it. I think that's a really good marriage of like franchise and studio. Yeah. Here. I think it's I think it's safe to be kind of cautiously optimistic here. At the very least, we can safely say it looks really good. Uh, yes. You know, and how how it feels is uh, you know still up in the air. Um, but yeah, there's going to be lots of lots of up in the air for this game. So there you have it: Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two getting remastered on Xbox One, PS4, and PC in beautiful, stunning 4K. Uh, I'm dying to know more. That's uh, September 4th. Nice. Correct. Well, yeah. uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely have more about that here on IGN. So uh, stick around and remember, skateboarding is not a crime. It's a misdemeanor. <laughs>